So when it comes to practice, we're really talking about two different things. So we're here, awesome practice facility, probably the best in the world. When you get out here, you've got to have a plan and you've got to work that plan. The other thing that's really important to understand is, am I working on my technical practice or am I working on developing skills? And they're not the same. And so a lot of times people kind of merge the two and that's when frustration happens. So we want to try and improve performance. We need to have the baseline technique, but once we have a technique that's competent, we need to start testing that so that we can improve our skills, and that would be skill development. So technical development will be sort of checking the mechanisms that deliver the club, your X's and O's if you like. Our skill development is using that technique to hit a variety of shots with a variety of clubs in a variety of conditions. Variability. Golf is the ultimate random variable game, and the best player is the player that can adapt to the situation, but you have to practice that. That's where skill development comes along. If you spend your time purely repetitiously hitting one club, trying to perfect a technique, you won't have the versatility necessary to navigate a golf course and hit a variety of shots, whether it's with a putter, whether it's with a wedge, with a mid iron, a fairway wood, or a driver. And hitting shot shapes, getting to certain pin locations, being able to play into the wind, downwind, and in crosswinds are all skills you need to develop. And that's where you develop it out here in your practice. So make sure that you are doing the right balance of your practice. In the off season, and you're trying to technically work on something, you might have about 70 to 80% of your time in technical development. But once you get into your season, you want to flip flop that and probably spend 75% of your time at least in that skill development so you're improving what you're going to do when you go on the golf course. So understand how you structure your practice. Make sure that you have the technical competency to develop skill. But once you've got that technical competency, you need to work on developing the skills because the person with the most shots out of the 14 clubs in their bag will be the person that's gonna shoot the lowest scores. So just make sure you structure your practice accordingly so that you can shoot the lowest scores possible.